Now we can install the brake caliper. Now this is a brake caliper right here and it's connected to your brake lines and it actually is really simple. In order for this to work, what happens is whenever you get brake fluid from these hydraulic lines, inside here are two brake pads. Now what happens is the hydraulic fluid causes these brake pads to push or pinch together. Now of course, you're usually gonna hit your brakes when your go-kart or car is moving and these brake pads are gonna go over this rotor. So whenever they're spinning like this, you're gonna be good, but then whenever they pinch together, check it out. This rotor no longer spins, and since this rotor is connected to the tire, your go-kart is gonna to come to a stop. So pretty much the caliper's job is to tell when the brake pad should pinch together, foot on the brake, they pinch together, go-kart stops moving. So that's pretty much how brake works. brakes work, really easy. Now, how this bolts onto your frame is really simple. It bolts on through two bolts right here, one there and one there. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to put this on first. And by the way, whenever you need to replace your brake pads, just go ahead and, I'm not gonna take them out because they're kind of a pain getting in, but take a screwdriver and pop these things out right here, right there. So now, let me go ahead and see if I can put this on. Go ahead and slide the brake pads right over your rotor. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get a better camera angle before I start bolting this on. So go ahead and find where your two brake pads are, one here, one here. Slide it over the rotor because of course one has to go on each side so it can pinch it. Now slide it through the piece on your frame and into your caliper. Let's see if I can get it. Is that brake line in your way? Oh well. Okay, so that one's in, you just have to tighten it. And now the smaller one, and of course, it goes like this. Your frame and caliper, then a regular washer, a lock washer, and then of course the head of the bolt. So let's see if I can get this one. It's a little bit more tricky. I can hardly get my freaking hands in there. All right, so there you have it. The front caliper is installed successfully. Now all you guys need to do is do this exact same thing to the other side and you'll be good to go. So that is how you install a caliper. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.